Hello friends, in this video we will examine how to install and operate VMware Workstation version 14. I will share the download links in the video description. After download complete, double click on exit file and run the application. Click on next and accept license terms. Enable keyboard enhancer if you want, but this will require a restart so I won't enable it now. Rest of the settings are optional, do it as you wish. If you have a license key, enter it. If you don't, just click on skip and enable 30 days trial period. Create a new virtual machine, click on File from pull down menu and select New Virtual Machine. To view advanced settings, always select Custom option while creating a virtual machine. If you want to create a VM compatible with older versions of VMware, you may select it here. In this window, you can select installation menu of the operating system you will install. Usually, DVD images are in ISO format. Just leave it like in the video and continue. Let's make a test installation with Windows 7. It asks where to put VM files. You may choose your location as you see fit. Leave the firmware type as it is. One processor and four cores will be enough for this test. You might change it as you like, but be warned Windows 7 doesn't run well on single core. Four gigabytes of memory will be good for Windows 7. Network options are very important. If you just want to get online, select NAT. On special occasions, you may want to use your network adapter like it's plugged to VM. In this scenario, you have to select Bridge Mode. Leave I.O. Controller as recommended. Most of the time, you don't need to change these settings. Leave this one recommended too. Select Create New Virtual Disk and enter its size. Since we are creating a test VM, 60 GB will be more than enough. As a side note, splitting disk into multiple files reduces disk performance, so I advise you to keep it as a single file. Don't select Allocate All Space Now option. Virtual hard disk file will grow as VM consumes more disk space. 60 GB will be its final limit. Select where to save virtual machine files and click on Next. Before clicking on Finish, click on Customize Hardware and Review settings for a final time. Then click on Close and create the VM. After VM creation, click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings and select DVD. Then select Use ISO Image File and select ISO Image File on your computer. After it is done, click on Power on this virtual machine and start your VM. It begins to install Windows as usual. There is nothing special about it, so I will skip this part. After Windows installation, first thing you should do is to click on VM menu and select Install VMware Tools. This will greatly improve your experience regardless of the operating system you are using. It enables copy and paste between VM and host, file sharing and other things. Click on next and continue. Keep it as typical and start installation. After installation complete, VM will need a reboot. After reboot, let's check Virtual Network Editor. The most important thing in Virtual Network Editor is to choose which network adapter you want to connect to VM. Let's say you want to use your computer's Wi-Fi adapter in VM. As you can see, Bridge Mode is in Auto. Click on it and choose your Wi-Fi adapter or some other adapter on your computer. After this, click on Apply and as you can see, it is set to VMNet 0. Now go to VM Settings and change your network settings. 
Choose Bridge Mode. But if you choose Custom Virtual Network, you may choose VMNet Zero. That will also work as it is bridged. You can also create private virtual networks which is useful when you have multiple virtual machines. For now, select Bridge and click OK. As you can see, we have got an IP from host's LAN network. Another useful thing about VMware Workstation is to take snapshots. Snapshots save the current state of a virtual machine which saves a lot of time in a test environment. Click on take snapshot and give it a name. But be warned, if you create a lot of snapshots they will consume huge disk space. So you better watch your disk space. Another useful thing about VMware is to create clones of your VM. Click on manage and select clone. It asks if you want to clone current state of your VM. Click on next. There are two types of clones. One is link clone, another is full clone. Link clone is fast, but it depends on virtual machine it has cloned. So if you delete the main virtual machine, link clone will not work. Full clone simply copies and pastes all the files of the main virtual machine. So it operates independently. As you can see, it creates a link clone of Windows 7. These are most common uses of VMware Workstation. It will be foundation of my future videos. Have a great day.